like this is something that you want to continue? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited because I want, I, once again, I have that goal of helping my mother out. So I'm very excited about that. And I also didn't know I could be that kind of person. I've always liked sex a lot. And mm -hmm. I just, it's exciting for me. Okay. So Dennis, um, how are clients when it comes to like new girls, like Anna and Shy Love, was he happy with this first time or is it almost like a man having a virgin? Well, I, I talked to him afterwards at the bar and he said he had a great time. He says, this girl made me feel so special. And she's, he said, I love her. He said, I want to come back and, and, and be special with her. Now, in regards to kissing, he said, that happens. Some uh, girls have their choice at the ranch. They don't have to. They don't not have to. Do you kiss Brooke? Uh, depending on the client. I have one gentleman who's seen me for every month, a couple times a month for two years. Yes, we're now at the point that we kiss, but I personally don't like deep throat kissing, so it, I don't do that. But you every woman's me. different. Well, that's because I love you. <laughs> I like him. I love you. But, you know, every lady, we all have our boundaries, even prostitutes. There mm -hmm. are things we do and don't want to do. There are things some women will say, I'll kiss, but only for the right price. Okay. Anna, do you have boundaries? Do you have a list of things that you will not do? Just one thing. <laughs> okay. What is that? I'll bleep it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not down with right that either, place. personally. <laughs> Amazing mamas. Today we're exploring why some women take a leap into the world of prostitution and what it's like their very first time they turn a trick, I guess. Before the break, we saw Anna as she took her first step into prostitution and she actually did the deed at the Bunny Ranch. Um, and the next time the doorbell rang, it was time for another lineup. But this time, Shy Love was chosen. First time standing in lineup, terrified. Having a man stare at you and 20 other girls, you know, it's just like, it's panic and you are panicked. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. After the first couple of lineups, I was a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more composed, and I kind of noticed, hey, that's when I started getting picked. <laughs> it's a tough choice, but I like the young lady in the red, the shy, shy love. Mm -hmm. Like to come After I got picked, I took the client back to my room. So tell me, Steven, what kind of things are you into? I like kissing. You like kissing? I don't mind kissing, but I don't kiss with the tongue. He expressed to me what he was into. Wonderful. I can definitely do that. Had no problem. Did what Brooke told me to do and went straight into my negotiations. <laughs> yeah, beautiful looking dress. Thank you. Can I see more when I was with my first client, I really had to think of my boyfriend Chris because that was the only thing that was going to get me through it, and it did. But now I've overcome it, and it's gotten a little bit easier for me. Are you ready? <laughs> I am so ready. <laughs> <laughs> so once you start, you can't stop. No, I have no intention of stopping. <laughs> Okay, so Shy Love's boyfriend Chris is here. So what do you, what do you think about that, about seeing it? It's a little upsetting. taste of it. Huh? It's upsetting. It's not something I like to see, not something I like to think about. Yeah. Um, Wait, it's upsetting. I love you, and you know where my heart is, and my heart is with you. My heart's not with all these other men. <laughs> you have me. They don't. Mm -hmm. What if you saw the whole thing? I what if want you to. saw? I really wouldn't want to. It'd be a little upsetting. I mean... It's one of those things that if I would sit back and think about it, and then it's something I would want to step back and just totally reevaluate the whole situation and what I would think in our relationship. But it's something that I try not to think about. I know she doesn't want to do it forever, so that's kind try of. Try not I to think to. about, but you just gave her a. Or before this, you know, earlier in the show, you said one to five years. So of that's course, a, even one month, Chris, is a lot of thinking. You say you don't want to think about it. Of course. How can you not? Especially if she's going to be on TV, like, you know, on the, on the Cat House show. It's something that you'll see. It's something that your colleagues will see, your family will see. So well, it's not something that you can run away from. luckily my family doesn't really watch that, which is nice. Child, please. They will. <laughs> <laughs> they will. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's a constant struggle, but I'm dealing with it. And it's, 
being dealt with, and right now I'm here. I'll support her through what she's got to do, and I'll be here for her. Um, I think you're such a contradiction. Not to, not to attack you, Chris, but I think mm -hmm. it's just such a contradiction. I think you're still trying to figure out oh. how to handle it and not really knowing how you're going to Well, respond. it's not every day that your girlfriend goes to work at Bunny Ranch. And he needs to be secure in the fact that she, she's getting paid to have sex with men. So the fact that she's offering herself up to him for free says something. She's placing you, but it's true. She's placing him. She's being emotionally monogamous with him. One second. What were you saying, Shiloh? One second. If I wanted to have the personality that people are trying to perceive me as being this bunny ranch girl, I would have, the moment I met him, I would have been like, oh, guess what? No, you got to pay. No, right off that, that was never like that with us, and it will never be like mm -hmm. that with us. We talk about this all the time, daily, because we mm -hmm. want to make sure that we are both comfortable with what I am doing. I think, um, Chris, you know how you say not every day is there a, a, a guy that has a girlfriend that's going to the bunny ranch? I, I do think that it's very rare, but I also think it's rare that a man would accept that because I know men biologically are mm -hmm. very territorial. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't want a man to, another man to look at their woman, touch their woman, flirt with their woman. It's a natural territorial thing. Absolutely. So I and do I think that there's something psychological in a guy's head mm -hmm. that would allow his woman to be touched by others. You know, and I'm not a therapist. I'm not a therapist, but I know that there's definitely something that goes against the biology of how a man is built and made. And I'm not talking about social. I'm talking about true biology. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? So there's something in your head, probably <laughs> up in your past or something, that makes this okay. Could it, could it be well, that he's very secure of himself? Secure of himself? Hell no, that ain't it. Dennis. <laughs> Next all new Tyra. They're one of Hollywood's most talked about couples. The stars of The Hills, Heidi and Spencer. Here in Us Weekly every single week. Are you guys together or are you guys broken up? I mean, ready to ditch about every rumor. Lauren Conrad, are you 100% sure that she has a sex tape? I know for 100%, 1000%. You saw it. But is their relationship real or just for show? There's another rumor <laughs> that Spencer hooked up with Lauren. What? And the new Miss USA, Crystal Stewart. Next all new Tyra. saw Shy Love and Anna take their first steps into prostitution, but next it was time for Summer to make her transition into being a hooker. Not all the Bunny Ranch clients 